Climate activists protested outside COP28 in Dubai on Tuesday. This year's summit has been controversial in part because its president, Sultan Al Jabba, is the head of the UAE National Oil Company. He's also made a point of including oil and gas companies in the talks. It is disappointing that the COP28 is being held in UAE. Zimbabwean activist Lorraine Chaponda said COP28 had been captured by fossil fuel corporations. That's why we're seeing a lot of greenwashing around the phase out and a hesitation to clearly put text that phases out all fossil fuels. So it was a bad decision to host COP here. ExxonMobil CEO Darren Woods is also in Dubai, marking the first time a chief executive of the oil giant has attended COP. His company declined to comment after former U.S. Vice President Al Gore dismissed Woods as someone who prioritizes protecting his profits over the survival of the human civilization. But Woods' presence is a sign of how the fossil fuel industry is trying to cast itself as part of the solution to climate change. Research released on Tuesday, however, showed that global carbon dioxide emissions from burning fossil fuels are set to hit a record high this year. Scientists and activists fear that efforts to combat climate change are not enough to avert its worst impacts. If you look at all the regions where there are fossil fuels in Africa, the host communities are suffering from the impacts of their projects. So I'm here to demand that our leaders put an end to the fossil fuel era and to transition the world uh, towards renewable energy. Countries at COP28 are considering calling for a formal phase-out of fossil fuels, according to a draft negotiating text. That's likely to spark a heated debate. But if adopted, it would be the first global deal to end the oil age. On the COP28 main stage, however, the CEOs of several major energy companies have been arguing in favour of oil and gas. They're backed up by an army of lobbyists. At least 2,400 of them registered for this year's summit. An analysis of UN registration data published by Kick Big Polluters Out has shown. That outnumbers the delegates from the 10 most climate vulnerable countries combined.